When will India be held responsible for their scam call centers? What are we gonna do? Sanction them? The robocalls from scammers who spoof phone numbers that we get constantly in the USA are blocked. In other places like the EU, spoofed phone numbers are blocked in the EU. At least that's what I've been told. Many Europeans will tell you that this problem doesn't even exist in the EU. They could make them illegal here in the USA too. But there is no political willpower to actually address these problems which shouldn't surprise anyone at this point. They'll never get caught. They take all the complaint calls. Never. The Indian government isn't necessarily to blame for them. These scam calls are illegal even there in India. And Indian citizens hate these scammers just as much if not more than everyone else. But the way these scam call centers work make it difficult for the government to prosecute them. They operate as legitimate call centers during the day and on the majority of floors. So when a raid happens all the police find are totally legal business practices. But after hours and on hidden floors, that's where the scam centers operate. It's not India doing it. It's people in India. They do it there because finding them is like a needle in a haystack. There is a particular sector where it's most common. But that sector is a mess. And so every time the scammers get located, they just move for a while. Indian police do crack down on them when they can. But they're tricky to find. I am from India. And these scammers are a big nuance. And they are also scamming people here. I think there should be collaboration at the level of governments. To catch these people. The reason why it's difficult to catch them. Is because they follow the following pattern. At least while scamming other Indians. 1. They call you from one number. And do all the lying there. 2. Then ask you to call another number. Which is a legit support number. Now they either actually dupe you into paying. Or it's a premium paid number. 3. Later. If you claim that you were scammed. They will say that you yourself called for some support consultation. And hence charged for the services. It will be difficult to prove the link between the two phone calls. There are other outright scams as well. But the call centers run at the boundary of legality. At least within the frame of what can be proved. People are regularly being cheated by these bastards. Especially older people or housewives. Who aren't very tech savvy. Call centers are much less destructive than arms dealers. You think we sanction our arms dealers? India is not really doing anything. Part of it is a larger problem with corruption in general in India. But this is sort of like asking when America will do something about pyramid schemes. We do things about it. People get arrested. We have laws about this sort of stuff. It's just hard to pin down for a lot of the same reasons. You seen Pierogi? He's doing some good work with the FBI on this. It's just the Indian government is insanely corrupt. Indian. Living in India here. I would like to know the answer as well. Fed up with the scam, spam calls. As an Indian looking at the only thread here. Apparently you guys don't like our scammers. We don't either. I've been compared. Ask to do the accent. Say random lines but in an Indian accent. Not a real Indian accent. Instead of my own voice. Which has an Indian accent. You can't hold us responsible simply because it's not all of us. There are so few scammers. Percentage. That I don't understand what you expect our country to do. We can't drop our current problems to deal with the rare scammer. We don't like scammers either but we don't have the need to deal with them. Especially considering it's harder to scam someone in the modern era. The New York Times with Jim Browning. A fantastic YouTuber who scams scam callers. Did a great investigative piece on this question. HTTPS 
www.nytimes.com slash 2021 slash 01 slash 27 slash magazine slash scam call centers dot html. If you're looking for an actual answer to your question, not just Reddit or speculation I recommend reading it. As many people said here, yes a huge part of it is the corruption and ineptitude of the police. However, for every call center the police do bust. 20 new ones pop up. It's basically whack a mole The real solution is to address the issues of poverty, lack of job opportunities, etc. among the working class in India. Look, they hate those assholes as much as the rest of us. And these companies use every trick in the book to obscure their operations. I'd recommend you watch Mark Rober's videos on them. Those explain it pretty well. The Indian government is aware of the problem. They don't like it either because of the damage they cause and the image of India it paints. They are essentially criminal organizations at this point and are very well established. The government as India is trying to do them but it's not as easy as you may think. This video had some explanation while also being deviously funny. Their scam centers? Do you think India invests in scam centers? Hilarious. Scammers in the US plan a business and outsource scam centers to countries like India. This is illegal in India and you would see several news coming up of police busting the scam centers. This is a criminal activity and it's the same as searching for criminals. The American, frog in the well, mentality shows. It's not that difficult to notice Indian accent. If you are talking to one then might as well hang up. Let's mention those transnational companies from the US that normally look for work labor in India. These scam call centers are illegal in India. That's why they prey on people in other countries. The FBI won't investigate a $2,000 crime. Not worth their time. The Indian government has little to no evidence of the nefarious activities in the call center. So they cannot prosecute. The biggest problem is that they're easy to find. And the Indian police regularly do shut them down. But they are super easy to start and stupidly profitable. Even if you have a prosecutor that wants to proceed with charges who do you charge and with what? How do you get evidence? Witnesses? I mean is some prosecutor in India going to fly the 95-year-old granny from Moose Jaw AB that got scammed? Who would hold them responsible, and why would they be motivated to do so? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.